Rather than using light like a traditional optical microscope, a scanning electron microscope uses a high-energy beam of electrons to scan a sample and produce an image. The MagLab's high-resolution scanning electron microscope has the power to see down to the nanometer. That's a billionth of a meter, 100,000 times thinner than a human hair. Here's a look at a single hair at 2,000 times magnification in the electron microscope and at 8,000 times magnification. A tiny ant also looks a lot different at this scale. Here's a look at 150 times and 350 times magnification. Now check out this image taken at 1,000 times magnification. Can you guess what it is? Zoom out and you'll see these are the tiny hairs and intricate details of a mosquito wing brought to us by the scanning electron microscope. The microscope includes an electron gun, lenses, a scanning coil, the sample chamber, and detectors. Let's take a closer look at how it works. The electron gun is at the top of the microscope and fires a beam of electrons at the sample down below. That beam travels vertically through several electromagnetic condenser lenses, which focus the beam onto the sample surface. Then the scanning coil directs the beam to scan in a particular pattern across the sample. As the beam hits the sample, electrons and X-rays scatter from the sample surface. Detectors collect these scattered electrons and X-rays, converting them into a signal and the signal into an image. At the MagLab, scientists use this powerful instrument to examine how materials behave at an atomic level. A closer look at the matter that makes up our world.